Millions of videos are uploaded every day, but one thing determines whether your video gets seen or completely overlooked. Your thumbnail. Think of it as your video's front door. If it doesn't catch their eye, they won't step inside. A boring thumbnail can kill your video, whereas a clickable, engaging thumbnail will skyrocket your video. Today, I'm revealing the secrets about how to create a great thumbnail that'll not only stop the scroll, but will make viewers want to click on it and watch the video. Here are the steps to create a clickable, engaging thumbnail using Pixelmator Pro on the Mac. I'll place a link to Pixelmator Pro in the description below this video. It's only $49.99 for a lifetime copy. After you've opened up Pixelmator Pro on your Mac, choose all templates if you don't want to start your thumbnail design from scratch. Alternatively, select a blank document with 1920 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high. Scroll down to see the YouTube thumbnail templates that you can use. They'll be on the YouTube video thumbnail. You've also got templates here for YouTube channel art. Click the arrow to the right to see more templates. I'm going to start from scratch, so I'm going to use the custom template of 1920 by 1080. Click create. Let's create the background first. Click on the brush. You've got color fills. Or if you click the arrow, you've got gradient fills. I'm going to choose this one. You can change the gradient by clicking on the arrow under gradient. I'm going to select this purple blue one. Click on this image to show or hide the gradient handles. So I can move these handles around to change the gradient. And move this one over here, move this one over here. Now I'm going to add a face to my thumbnail. Here's a screenshot of me smiling in my video. I'm going to drag this image onto my document. To remove the background so I just show my face, I click on the image and click on this background removal icon. Now it's removing the background. Now I can just drag the image to where I want it and I can enlarge it by just clicking on the handles and dragging it. If I want to sharpen the image, I click on the effects icon, click add effect, click sharpen, and click sharpen again. I can increase the intensity and the radius. If your image contains multiple subjects and just want to keep one of them, use the rectangular selection tool. Click on the image, then go to tools, select rectangular selection. Create a rectangle around the image you want to preserve. Click on the background removal tool. Now it's removing the background. If you want to erase some of the image like a hair strand, use the erase tool. Click on the erase tool and now you can erase some of the hair strands. To save the image to your desktop, go to File, Export, save as a PNG file so you preserve the transparency. Here's a saved image on my computer. Now I'm going to add the text, steal their attention so it evokes emotion and it motivates viewers to want to click and watch the video. Click Insert. If I click on the text, then click the text icon, I can decrease the size or increase the size. I'm going to make the text steal really big. I'm also going to add a drop shadow so the text stands out on the thumbnail. Click on the brush icon, turn on this layer style, add some distance, add blur if you want, or you can increase the opacity. You can also change the font by clicking on the text icon and you can change it to Impact Moderno. Now I'm going to add the rest of the text. Now I'm going to add a YouTube icon to draw viewers' attention to the thumbnail. Let's check if the text can be viewed on small screens. Looks good to me. If I want to test three different designs, I can just change the text to something like irresistible clicks or stop the scroll. Alternatively, I can try different expressions on my face. After you're happy with the thumbnail, you need to download it to your computer. Click File, Export, I'm going to save it as Steel. Choose a PNG format for the best resolution. Otherwise, click the drop down and you can select JPEG. Click Export. Here's the image of my computer. If I right click and open with Preview, I can view the image. Now the thumbnail is ready to be uploaded to YouTube. You can now use the free Test and Compare thumbnail tool from YouTube to test up to three different designs for your videos. Watch this video on the screen right now to learn how to master YouTube's Test and Compare thumbnail feature in minutes. You'll be glad you did.